Hi guys, it's Amanda. Have another tutorial today on this super easy DIY custom printed shirt. It uses iron on fabric transfer paper, which is literally so easy to do. You could choose any graphic that you like, even a photo. So let me show you what you need to get started. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a blank shirt. You can use any shirt that you have. I'm using a slouchy tank by Bella Canvas. And this is kind of an upcycle for me because I've used this shirt so much. And this is style number 8838 and I really love this brand because it has a huge selection of styles, colors, and super soft materials. The next thing that you'll need are iron-on fabric transfer paper. You can find these at pretty much any office store, Walmart, and they work with any inkjet printer. And these specific sheets are designed for light fabric and all that really means is that the color white will not transfer. So anything that's the color white will come out transparent. And that worked with my design but if you have something in your graphic that's white that you want to stay white then make sure you buy transfer paper for dark fabric. Then you're also going to need an iron to activate the transfer paper as well as a pillowcase to protect the surface that you're using, some scissors, and then I actually used an X-Acto knife to get into like the little grooves that I couldn't get to with the scissors, but it's definitely not required. And besides that, you're also going to need an inkjet printer and a computer with a program that can reverse an image. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. So the first thing that you want to do is choose your graphic that you want printed on your shirt. And I already chose my graphic, so I'm just going to pull that up in Adobe Photoshop. And I chose to keep mine pretty simple. I just typed out the word bless using a distress type of font that has like a 70s vibe to it. So once you got your graphic, you're going to go up to the image tab, down to image rotation, and then flip canvas horizontal. So then your image is going to be reversed and that's exactly what you need. So once you have that, you're going to go to print and first you want to print this on regular paper. So you want to make sure that everything's good, make your adjustments on the regular paper because the pack of transfer paper only comes with six sheets. So you definitely want to make sure that everything's finalized. Once you have everything good to go, you're going to print it out. And for the printer settings, you definitely want to change the quality to best. And then for the type of paper, I chose photo matte paper. And this gave me the best results with no streaks, where some of these other settings gave me streaks. So definitely um, see what works best for your printer. And then hit print. And it should come out the way that you had it on the computer. So if all looks good, and you can start cutting it all out. And then there were some areas that were pretty hard to get to with scissors, so I just used an X-Acto knife to get like in between the letters and everything, and it worked out really well. Then lay out your pillowcase on a hard surface, like a table or the floor, and then just start ironing it out to get all the wrinkles out. And then place your shirt directly on top and start ironing that as well. Make sure that your iron is set to no steam and that you emptied all the water. Then you're going to place your graphic on your shirt with the print side facing down. And make sure everything is placed where you want it to be. And to make sure everything stayed in place, I literally just took the iron and sat it on top of the print for a few seconds. And then just start ironing back and forth, up and down using a good amount of pressure and making sure that the iron is on the hottest setting for cotton. And according to the instructions, if it's a full page, you should iron for about three minutes. It's half a page, 90 seconds, and a fourth page, 45 seconds. So I ironed mine for about a minute, and then let it cool for two minutes. 
and then start peeling it off from one of the edges. And that is it guys. My last piece of advice is to make sure that you wash on cold and hang dry, but if you do use tumble dry, make sure you use very low heat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIYs. I'll leave all the details in the description box below, but if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to every single one of you guys. And before we go, I have a quote of the day for you. A grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. And I find this to be so true on days that I just focused on how lucky and how blessed I am. There's nothing that can bring that day down. It just goes up and it just continues to go up. So I encourage you guys to just focus on what you're thankful for and how blessed you are to be alive. Maybe it's people around you or an opportunity that you have. You'll find more and more things to be thankful for and it's like this cycle of just feeling blessed. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I truly, truly appreciate you guys watching. Bye.